Well, good day, everybody. It's March 13th, 2023, and this is the calm before the storm. We have a storm coming in starting tomorrow. It's probably gonna begin shortly after midnight. And what we have is just a little bit of rain. We have a, a tiny bit of snow coming with it, but it's gonna be a couple days of light rain. Let me, let me show you guys the forecast right here. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy what I do, please help, help me out by liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate it a lot. We're almost to 20 grand, that would be awesome. So let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. So right now it's showing tomorrow, cloudy with periods of rain, chance of ra rainfall r r r around a quarter of an inch. Okay, look, it looks like it picked up now. Tomorrow night, rainfall around a half an inch. Uh-oh, uh-oh, some flooding possible. And then Wednesday, Rain and snow showers in the morning, changing to rain showers in the afternoon. <clears throat> Probably gonna be close to a quarter of an inch also. But next week, guys, is when we got some, some more snow. And also, thank you guys so much for all the, all the birthday wishes. You guys have been awesome. I really appreciate it very much. And then check out this shirt. It says, 100% uh, chance of me telling you the forecast. <laughs> That's from Mary Alice. Mary Alice and her husband, they sent me a couple shirts. <laughs> The tank top is something about being an absolute snow lover. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the beautiful card. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Such nice people. And I'm glad I can do this and provide you your, your updates for the Big Bear area when it comes to the weather. It makes me really happy and really proud to do what I do. So right now we're in the post office parking lot. I'm going to shut this off until we get going. But yeah. We're gonna go check out the town. We're gonna to go check out the snowiest part of, of Big Bear to see what little snow is left. This is crazy, you guys. I think this next storm's gonna wipe out most of our snow. Sad to say, sad to say. Okay, you guys, we just pulled out of the post office. The post office is on Pine Knot, and Pine Knot is the same street that the, the village is on, or one of the main village drives. There's Pine Knot and then Village Drive, and that is the village. But we are not going to the village. We are going to Upper Moon Ridge. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to see what the town looks like now before all this rain comes because this is going to be heavier amount of rain. As you saw, it, it looks like it, it, it could be close to an inch total. Definitely, uh, definitely bummed out about that. You know, of course, I love the rain because it helps impact the lake and we desperately need it, but... The most important thing for me is getting you guys up here, getting you guys up here, spending money, supporting our economy, having a blast, creating lifelong memories with your loved ones. That's the important thing here, supporting our businesses. So, as I said, this is quite a bummer with all the rain and the snow mixing in, guys. There's not going to be any, any accumulation. It's just going to be kind of just there. But if we can get it to change to all snow just for a few minutes so I can record that, that would be beautiful. You guys know how much I, I love the snow. And once again, Mary Alice, you, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome shirts. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you definitely can count on me telling you the forecast for sure. If you guys were wondering which app I was using, obviously I suggest everyone go to bensweather.com, B-E-N-S-W-E-A-T-H-E-R.com. He is Big Bear's meteorologist and has been for years. Um, the guy is super, super, super knowledgeable. Um, I'm just someone who relays what these people research. Um, bensweather.com or the app that I have found to be the most reliable in terms of, uh, well, compared to all the other weather apps you'll find in your app store, the Weather Channel app for the Big Bear area has been really good. We got the map back on the screen. Yee. We're on Big Bear Boulevard. So you guys can see the temperature is 54 degrees. It's a beautiful day. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. If, 
as you notice, look at Big Bear Boulevard. Look at how little snow is left up here. Of course, the snow removal crews do a good job taking all the snow from the sidewalks and and moving it elsewhere out of out of people's way and all all, all the snow from from these gutters and whatnot. But if you just look a little bit beyond where they don't touch, this snow is just falling apart. Quite a bummer, as I said. Especially because we want you guys coming up here and enjoying yourselves. I'm wondering if the ski resorts are, are gonna have any last last moment actions to get those snow machines up and running again. But it's crazy. After this last snowstorm, some some people were saying that we'll probably get snow into July. And I was like, no chance. No chance or skiing into July. That's that's a nice thought. Definitely a nice thought. I I, I really wish that, but a few of our big storms in the past since I've lived here over eight years, I thought the same thing. Especially because like the piles of snow in in front of my house were so huge. Um, I just thought it's gonna take forever for this to melt. And lo and behold, it didn't take forever at all. It's just super, super quick. But anyway, we're back on Moon Ridge Road, y'all. And we're gonna start heading up to uh, the upper Moon Ridge area. guys right when yeah anyway I checked my other phone and my wife had sent me a text saying she wants to come with me so look who we got here hi everybody <laughs> we got my beautiful beautiful wife right baby super beautiful <laughs> smoky Thank right. you. you're welcome babe so what do we got today babe we have a beautiful day of, at 51 degrees, heading up to Upper Moon Ridge to see what snow we have remaining in the Upper Moon Ridge I'm part of Big Bear. It's gonna be good. Loving the 50, what, 52, 52 now, 52, 52 now. Yeah, but look at how little snow we have left from that huge amount of snow. Insane. I, I was just telling them that right right before, uh, um, or right after all all that snow fell there were a couple people thinking we we might be skiing in into july i mean seriously it's it, it is a little disappointing like as much as i complain about the snow i feel like it's so unfair that i'm getting this on tape you guys we <laughs> suffered through the storm well not we yeah i <laughs> i escaped the storm <laughs> but um just you know everybody suffered through the storm and they don't even get to ski yeah. Sled. Yeah. Throw snow at each other unless it's slushies. Which will knock you out unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Snowball <laughs> fights are just ambulances flowing everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, this I, I I mean guys look, there's like dry patches over here. This is just unbelievable how quickly this snow has gone. And then with this potential inch of inch of rain coming, you guys, which is at least twice as much as we just had. I mean, oh man, this remaining snow is gonna turn into streams all over the place. And it's not that much snow, you guys. But also, this should also show you guys how how dry, or like how much of a champagne powder this snow was. Um, this was the nicest snow that I've seen since I've lived here. Usually we get a really wet type of snow. Um, but this was a very, very dry snow. It was very cold when it snowed also. He's too late. That's what I got to ride in. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's see here. All right, so we were just on Silver Tip. Now we are on what I call Lower Villa Grove. And then we're turning right on Butte to go into the Upper Moon Ridge area. As I said, we're entering the snowiest part of town just to see what's left. 
then it's gonna be interesting doing the aftermath after all the rain this next storm to see how little snow remains after that. I mean, dry patches everywhere. This is amazing. I don't even have to turn the camera to find these dry patches. Of course, the sun beats down more on these little areas than it does somewhere like down in there. But these temperatures are definitely having a huge impact as well. like fun. Those mopeds. <laughs> I remember as a youngster some of my friends got those motorized scooters when they first really came out and man I wanted one so bad but my parents wouldn't get me one because <laughs> they, um, knew, they knew I'd knock out all my teeth probably. When I was like 18 or 19 my mom bought me one and I literally couldn't stop. <laughs> I was going and I couldn't stop. <laughs> I got so scared I almost jumped off of it. And the only thing was like my brain wasn't telling my hand to like let it go, you know? So I just kept going. I was like, ah! That's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this guys. Look at these these minimal piles of snow. This is this is craziness. Compared to if you watch these videos right after the snowstorm, it's just, you can't see most of these like homes from the road right here. Wow, this is crazy. I mean, you remember when we came up here for that first mm -hmm. aftermath when there was just so much snow. I think we drove through here when it was like full and snowing. Yep, yep, we did. I mean, there's just, wow. This is the part of town where a lot of people were in big trouble. A lot of the elderly people who could not get out of their homes. But the town showed so much humanity. I'm so proud of this place for all the love that they showed. It, it really caught me off guard. <clears throat> I mean, oops, rocks everywhere. Hey, really caught me off guard. I just didn't expect it. Yeah, and condolences to the people who did lose I can't believe that. I can't believe how many people it was. Yeah, it's just really awful to think about. Was that in this area or mostly on the, on, uh, the other, on, the, on the other side of the mountain? Not that. Somebody said it was bigger, but I know that it was probably in Crestline area or something. Yeah, like that, yeah. Where you know, where, where they really got hit. Video of like a lady. I don't know if anybody else saw it. Where it was just a little tiny hole. And then as they dug it out, it was like an elderly person's front door. It was so sad. Oh, no. It was so sad. Yeah, that's horrible. We don't like seeing that. We don't like hearing about that. Mm -hmm. That's not what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it, you know, we all deal with catastrophic events. As far as I'm concerned, that was a catastrophic event. I know some people may disagree with me, but any loss of life is catastrophic in my eyes. And I'll tell you what, like, uh, it just puts into perspective my deep concerns when I was stuck and I couldn't go anywhere and the feeling of claustrophobia, I, I, I just can't imagine how a lot of these other people were feeling or what they were going through. It's really sad. But as I said, every everywhere you live, mm -hmm. like where I grew up, there's the risk of tsunamis and stuff like that, um, which my whole lifetime, we have never had anything that has really impacted our beaches, but the risks there, mm -hmm. and we're all well aware of the risks where we live. Like obviously we have big, big earthquake risks where I was from there was an earthquake we I was in I experienced the Woody earthquake when I was in the 80s I think it was like 88 or 89 pretty crazy earthquake but yeah what are we um, looking at 
for weather this week, babe? So starting tomorrow, we got about three quarters of an inch of rain coming in tomorrow <laughs> throughout the day. And then the following day on Wednesday, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch. Rain and snow in the morning on Wednesday, but then it's going to transition to all rain. And then uh, early afternoon, it should be all said and done. I mean, look at this. There's This is just... There's just nothing up here anymore. Who would have thunk? What part of the city do you think has the most snow right now? This this, this is why we're here. Mm. In Upper Moon Ridge. This is the most snow in Big Bear. The most snow in the Bear. That's big. I mean, these, some of these piles still look large and in charge, but... It's just... It's, it's just crazy to see how little there is. This is just, okay, some of the houses that have not been plowed, it still looks rough, it, it really does. And now the snow for them to get plowed out, if they're gonna do it on their own, is not gonna be easy. It's, it's never easy, but as I said, we had that champagne powder up here, which is very rare for this area. And uh, that, was, that was easy to scoop up, like shockingly easy. It was like a feather, a full shovel load. It, was, it felt like a feather, it was, it was crazy. Is usually one load and I'm 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 beat. I am beat after that. Look at how nice the driveways look. Yep. Oh yeah. Really, really beautiful homes up here, you guys. This town has beautiful homes all all over the place. It's pretty cool because you'll have a shack here and then a home, a big home right next to it. I live in one of the shacks, but it's a comfortable little shack. It's a love shack, baby love shack. Getting snow wet, love shack. So yeah, once again, <clears throat> for those of you watching who haven't been watching too long, the Calm Before the Storm is a video that I do the day before we get another storm coming in. And usually it's a snowstorm, so we can see what the town looks like before we got hit, like right before we get hit. And then when I do the aftermath video, we can, we can see the vast difference in how the town looks. And I, I, I've always found that to be quite interesting. But then again, I'm a, I'm a snow nerd and I enjoy this stuff a lot. But once again, I've been telling you guys that I'm really looking forward for the first time to, since I've lived here for spring and summertime. Especially seeing the snow out front of my house melting so quickly, I forgot how big the driveway really is. And it's gonna be nice, because I'll get to ride my motorcycle again. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we're on. We're gonna be turning on Canyon Crest. We were just on Wolf Road. I haven't been speaking the names of the streets, so I apologize. Yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. So now we're on Canyon Crest. Let me pull out there. To the left is Bear Mountain. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get any good views, but some of the scariest runs up there, like Geronimo, are right in front of us.
It sure is beautiful though. It sure is really beautiful over there. <clears throat> so this is gonna take us down to a street called Sheephorn. We gotta take Calusa first. So we're making a left on Calusa. There's two Calusas up here. Like Calusa Drive and Calusa Place, I believe. Let's see, what is this one? Calusa Drive. Obviously we climbed up in elevation. Temperature's 46 degrees up here. It's a beautiful home. For those of you still watching, um, don't forget to uh, hit, click on the link that I post in the comment section and in the top of the description of the video. It's courtesy of Big Bear Destinations. They're offering us free vacations up here as well as free annual ski lift passes and some more, some more cool stuff. So it doesn't cost you anything. Just click the link, follow the instructions. It's super simple. I already did. I put my email address in there and boom, hopefully, hopefully a bunch of us get, or not, not, not me, hopefully a bunch of you get selected for it. That'd be awesome. It's a nice view right here. That's really pretty right there. This gully area runs all the way through Moon Ridge, you guys, and it's a good place for sledding because the kids will s sled down a really steep slope and then they don't have to risk running into any cars or anything like that. It runs all the way through, through Moon Ridge. It's, it, it's really awesome. But we got some guy honking because I am driving a, a little bit slow. But you guys want me to drive slower? A complete stop. <laughs> This part of town in lower, this is kind of middle Moon Ridge. They got hit pretty good as well. Cause the closer you get to the mountain, the more snow you're gonna get. But other parts of middle Moon Ridge didn't get nearly this much snow. This is called Sheephorn. Usually we would go up to the left to go by Bear Mountain, but this is going to be kind of a shorter calm before the storm. We just wanted to go check out the parts of town that had the most snow. All right, now we're back on Moon Ridge Road. I'm going to take this all the way to the end of the video. All right, sorry about that, guys. I accidentally hit the like we stop like button. This. We could, but we won't. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in steering wheel. And... How do I talk at you? Oh, it's All right, once again, I accidentally clicked the off button and I don't know how I keep on doing that, but it happens.
That's <laughs> fine. I just don't want to crash. Yeah, totally. No crashing possible. If there's no snow, that's when I crash. That's when I got into my first accident when we had no snow. Right before all the snow, so I was really, really worried. Like, how am I gonna drive around? All right, you guys. That is the calm before the storm video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Crazy how little snow we have up in Upper Moon Ridge, huh? Unbelievable, actually. So anyway, you guys take care. Thanks again for enjoying the videos. It's March 13th, 2023. Say bye, baby. Bye, everybody. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. And remember, if you guys like what I do, please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And share. And share. Thank you, guys. Take care. And share.